This is a follow-up video looking at the detour that's been put in place at the southern end of the Fremantle traffic bridge and on Beach Street underneath the traffic bridge. This was filmed on Sunday the 28th of April and the first thing to note is that most of the people using the detour on this day were families or casual cyclists. You won't see many fit adult mammals in this user group. Parents cycling with kids will generally spend a lot of time and effort shepherding their kids and don't have time to look around for detour signage. If the signage isn't blatantly obvious, there's a good chance parents will miss it completely because they're looking after their kids. Second, there's an issue with drivers using the slip roads failing to look for people using the pedestrian crossings. It's much worse on the eastern side where drivers are leaving the bridge at speed and looking to their right for approaching vehicle traffic. They're not looking to their left for pedestrians or cyclists approaching on the path. I doubt this risk has been identified during the planning phase for the traffic management plan. Third, the footpath that runs along Canning Highway past the contain box is quite narrow and only suitable for one-way traffic. If this detour is going to be in place for months or years, the path needs to be widened significantly or dug up and replaced by a path that's built to modern cycling standards. The bus shelter creates a risk of a cyclist colliding with someone preparing to leave the shelter and board a bus. Note the solid wall on the eastern side that is covered in advertising. This completely blocks the view of a bus passenger stepping out of the shelter. Cyclists should be detoured on a new path around the rear of the shelter to avoid any risk of, of collisions with bus passengers. Where the path joins Beach Street, it's not clear where cyclists are supposed to go. The logical route would be to remove the car parking at this point outside the toilets and install a temporary ramp and put cyclists onto the road at this point instead of directing them to use the footpath. However, the problem with the current layout is that doing this, uh, it, there's a risk of drivers exiting the car park, not looking to their right for approaching cyclists and running them over. So that would need to be rearranged somehow. The footpath outside the Beach Street Cafe is very narrow and it's partly blocked by planters, sign poles and seating. There's a high risk of a collision between a cyclist using this narrow footpath and someone exiting the cafe. When riding along Beach Street from the east, the cyclist detour signage is too small and too far away for it to be visible at 20 kilometres an hour or faster. The signage needs to be several times larger in order for it to be effective.